Welcome back, family. We got one more thing we want to try to do. Bonus. Which we're still, which we're still wearing the same shirts for. <laughs> Apparently, okay, so there's not just five videos. There's a bunch of news coming out with D23. Now, uh, Greg has kind of like got this uh, quick little synopsis. I have no clue. I've been at work all night. I just walked in the door, fed the dogs, threw on a shirt, turned on the screen. So, I'm turning over the helm, which is difficult for me because I'm a control freak. But I... <laughs> I'm trying to get over to Greg. Okay, Greg. So what's going on with D23? Okay. So first up, we've got confirmation of the Thunderbolts. The movie or TV uh, show? Which are they doing? Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's a movie. Let's see. Did they say anything about characters? Who's Absolutely. Gonna be it? Yes. That's the oh. that's the meat of it. Um, it's going to be Red Guardian. Really? Ghost. Okay. Uh, from Ant Man, right? Was that yep. Ghost? Yep. Uh, John Walker, yeah. Yeah. Taskmaster. R oh no! Please. Oh. I hope. I hope they fix it. Take it back and f figure it out. Yeah. Look, they fixed uh, the mandal. Uh, the the, uh, the Mandarin. Yes. Yeah, they're open to change. I think. Yes, please, 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 because that really ticked off a lot of people. Yeah. So. TikTok. Tech, yes. tech, tech master uh and black widow uh below Yelena Belova. yes okay and also winter soldier and contessa valentina de Valentine or whatever her full name is but no hawkeye there's no mention, mention of no that. stature um okay interesting well and they're talking about it being a movie well, just like the any other team members join and end, so that that that's fine. That's fine. I, 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 it's really hard to believe that Winter Soldier, Bucky, and John Walker will be teamed up. Do you I want see to see a lot of locker room fights for that? <laughs> do you want to see some uh, promo concept art from the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to okay. see it. Okay. See it all. See it all. See it all. There you go. So we've got. Task, Taskmaster over here, John Walker, Winter Soldier, Belova, Red Guardian, Ghost, and I guess that's supposed to be uh, Valentina. Contessa. Contessa, yeah. Just don't call her Val. <laughs> that looks like, and I don't mean to genderize, but that looks like a male frame as Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if they're going to repurpose or... Because I mean that person, the person playing that looks like they have. I mean, I know I understand it's concept art, but they look like they have broader shoulders than anybody except for Red Guardian. Yeah, maybe John Walker. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I'm excited to see if uh, how Taskmaster turns out. Yeah, because I mean that was a character that really ticked off a lot of people, and if they brought back the same character that everybody's aggravated with. That's going to alienate a lot of people. And yeah. MCU is already taking a lot of flack for things not going right. Hopefully they can mend some wounds with that. Um, yeah. I, th I like the, the addition of Red Guardian. I do. I think he's going to be that necessary comedy relief. Yeah, clearly. I mean, you can see it right here in the art, too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you? Yes. It still fits, you see. <laughs> yeah. Uh. No, okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. I and again, I still would like to see uh, Hawkeye because uh, the Kate Bishop, because I love yeah. the interaction between Kate Bishop and uh, Elena Belova. I thought the two of them on screen was gold. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> the um, elevator scene alone. <laughs> ah, Kate Bishop, maybe, what are you doing? Maybe they'll use it as a stepping stone to. Oh. What is it, Young Avengers? That she's yep. in with uh, Ant Man's daughter, Cassie. Thatcher. Maybe, maybe this series will lead into that or something. Well, or Young Avengers, movie. Young Avengers, for that to really take off, they're also going to need to get some more strength in that, which means they need Amadeus Cho, and they haven't introduced that character yet. Yep. So let's see what happens with the end of She Hulk with uh, Bruce Banner, and uh, maybe they'll replace instead of being Amadeus Cho, maybe it'll be Scar. Mm. 
We don't know what's going to happen. And that's the beauty of it. I mean, we could just speculate and everybody run out. Don't forget to run out and buy your first appearance on Mephisto. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay. So Thunderbolts movie. Boom. Um, oh, do you have a release date? Not that I saw. Okay. Not Sorry. that I saw. Uh, just 2023, I believe. Uh, no, not 2023. I don't know. We'll have to get back to that. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. The next one is Captain America New World Order. Yes. The leader is coming back from, Ooh. from uh, Hulk 2. Yes. Um, and it's the same actor. Good. Well, they, they brought back uh, Abomination with the same actor. It yeah. made sense. Yeah. So, Tim Blake Nelson. Yep. Why do they, oh, I was going to say, why do they have Wolverine in the background? That's because it's the... Just uh, general. No, it's the uh, the X-Men Adventures. 97, yeah. Because I see Boom Boom. Uh, boom Boom. Jub- Jubilee in the background there. Yeah. Of course. We got that. Absolutely. Uh, didn't I don't think we got anything extra there. Um, didn't see anything about this. Okay, Captain Carter. Uh, they're just talking about what if season two. Nothing really. Oh, okay. Well, Captain Carter is supposed to be getting her own series, from what I understood. Yes, but I think that's further into the future, like next D twenty three, maybe. Uh, yeah, but if they wait too long, it's not gonna. Ooh, that's a great picture there for Quantum Mania. You got Cassie and uh, Scott and uh, oh, what's her name? The the Pim's daughter. Yeah. Okay, and Kang in the background. Yeah, I like that. Cool. I like that secret invasion we got. Guardians of the Galaxy Part Three. Yeah. That I think is going to involve the High Evolutionary. Definitely. Cool. You can yeah. Echo series, yes. Echo, um, darn! What I saw something about this. Oh, uh, Fantastic Four! They announced the director, Matt Shakeman, Shackman. And he's done what? I don't know the name. Oh, let me let me break it down, nasty. Break it down. Wandavision. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm uh, good. You, he he directed see. all nine episodes. Uh, I don't know how to. Uh, let me do this. Let me do a little Wikipedia. Directed by one person, Matt Shackman. Um, that I'm good. I thought that series was beautiful. Yes. And he also did... He's directed some episodes of uh, Game of Thrones. So okay. that's cool. Now, seriously, I'm, I, you know I just binge watch all of Game of Thrones. Yes. Which means I saw all the credits real quick, especially when you fast, you know, like, skip intro, it still pops up on the director. Yeah. Who hasn't directed a Game of Thrones? It seemed like every episode had a different director. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as it was in the first six seasons. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he did the Battle of the Bastards. <laughs> if he did the Battle of the Bastards. No, Miguel Sapochnik. Okay, I was going to say, if he did the Battle of the Bastards, then I want to know when Fantastic Four is coming out because I'm, I'm taking another vacation day. I'm trying wow. to figure... Well, no, no announcement as far as who's the, the cast in that. Right? No, there was a lot of speculation that they were going to announce that. Um, D23 is not over yet. Tomorrow wraps it up. Okay, so I guess we might get something. It's possible. Uh, Jim Rash, who played MIT liaison in Captain America Civil War, will reprise his role in Ironheart. Okay, and seriously, dude, if you're an actor and you're in these series, you're making enough money that you can change your last name? What's it? You said rash, right? <laughs> like something you would like put talcum powder in your crotch for? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I would be changing my name. <laughs> Jim Rash. Ooh, new footage from oh, okay. Wakanda Forever. Ah, eh, let's... Ugh. <sighs> All right, now we're getting into the rumors. Let's see. Rumor, Real stuff rumor. here. Real stuff. Rumor has it. Can't stop these rumors surrounding me every day. Um. All right. Marvel's Echo trailer revealed at D23 with Kingpin returning. We have an Echo trailer? I didn't think so, but I guess so. Is it available to us 
common muddled masses. <laughs> Eight months, three months, one month. No. It would be up here if it was. The footage was exclusive to those in the room at D23. Well, that sucks. It included subtitles, shots of native people, and tons of echo. Cox kicking ass. When you say um, native people, you're talking about Native Americans? Yes, I'm assuming, because that's that's part of Echo's story. Gotcha. Just making uh, sure I'm clear. Oh, so at the very... So do you want me to read what it says the trailer had? Yeah. Okay, at the very end of the first look video, Vincent D'Onofrio's kingpin returns and is wearing an eye patch. Shot in the eye, told you. Yeah, called it. But he's only blind to one eye if he has an eye patch, not both eyes. Yeah. In the comics, he's both blind to both eyes. Yeah. The show is a spinoff of last year's Hawkeye. Yeah, we we know that. So. So Charlie Cox is going to be in that as well, right? Yes, and he's going to filming for that series is going to start next year. Um, Daredevil. <laughs> Okay, but not for Echo. No, Echo's no, no. Echo should have no. already started. Oh, I'm sure Echo has already started. Yeah. Do we Didn't... have a um, a release date on Echo? I need you to hack into the Disney mainframe and get these <laughs> release dates, man. Uh, 2023. That's a little vague, my friend. I know. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're having fun. Yeah. Didn't see anything for Blade today. Are is anybody excited about Blade? I mean, I'll watch it, but I don't. I can't say that I'm excited about it. I loved the original Wesley Blade. Snipes, and nothing against the actor, but you're going to be compared to Wesley Snipes, and that's kind of tough. There's all I ask is a Wesley Snipes cameo. <laughs> uh, I'm good with that. Just in you know, even even if it's like a two second this is, thing this is marvel they're like the master of the cameo <laughs> yeah i mean it it could be even just you know like the the guy that's playing blade now in, in a crowded area or whatever and just looking around and sees wesley snipes and wesley snipes look back the fuck you looking at <laughs> <laughs> that's it i'm good <laughs> well think about hugh jackman's wolverine cameo in first class yeah <laughs> so Oh, even that poster looks cool. I like that. It, it does look cool. It's got like a, it's got like a crease up here. Yeah. I would, I would get that as a poster. I really would. Armor Wars. Nothing going on with that. No, but we we definitely saw uh, Rhodey in a couple Rhodey. of the teasers. So that's a nice title card there. Loki season uh, two, Echo, Thunderbolts. It's a movie, Thunderbolts. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, so apparently Baron Zemo is also being rumored. Hmm. For that. How would he fit into that? Oh, I forgot. Um, Isaiah Bradley is coming back for New World Order. Why do I know Isaiah Bradley? Why do I know Isaiah Bradley? He was, he was the, the OG Captain America Truth book. Oh! Oh! God! Like I told you, I'm yeah. bad with names. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that makes me feel really good. I don't want that character forgotten. That's May of 2024, that movie. Um, too far away. Mar too far away. I want everything I released next weekend. <laughs> I know. Uh, Kamala, Carol, and Monica. Yep. Light powers entangled Captain Rambo as an astronaut at Saber Space Station with Fury. Monica touches the light field. Kamala is now in spacesuit, waves at Fury. Monica crashes on the moon with Kree warriors. July of next year. Listen, a year away. We got the Marvels. Oh, Born cool. again. Oh, Char so Charlie Cox comes on stage. Um, you know, one of the most amazing things that I find about Charlie Cox is I, I had to watch multiple I watched multiple episodes and I legitimately thought that they got a blind actor. 
Okay, because like right now I'm looking at the camera, so my eyes are at a slight angle because I'm focusing on something. But if you are blind, you don't focus on something. You kind of look off into the distance. Yeah, you get like a thousand yard stare. Yes, and the fact that he is able to do this in every scene for season after season after season. Yeah, yeah. Even during when he's fighting, is doing this. I. It's not just great mental control; it's great physical control. And yeah, Charlie Cox is great. That's actually Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio t- there together on stage. <laughs> Hopefully they, they kept uh, they didn't get break into fights or anything. Oh, I'm sure they love each other. Oh, I'm sure too. I'm just saying it's, it's Kingpin next to Daredevil. That's cool though. They got the uh, you know the more classic logo there, the DD. I don't yeah, know if you I can love it. Um, but Dare, Daredevil was definitely one of those underpriced comic books that it's too late now. You missed. Well, it's still underpriced in comparison to the other man, uh, major keys in 1963. But yeah, it's not a bargain anymore. Marvel announced DT23 that Don Cheadle is returning for Armor Wars on yep. Disney Plus and revealed a new logo. So if it's Disney Plus, it'll be a series, which we already, we knew. We thought that, yeah. But we still don't have a release date at all. And they didn't talk about it at all or show it on the slate during San Diego Comic-Con. Right. So uh, we don't know when this is happening. But, I mean, I'm just glad it's not canceled. I'm yeah, happy. me too. I'm happy I it's mean, there. That's a great story. The Armor Wars, if they're following the Armor Wars that I'm thinking of in the comic book. And Rhodey, Cheadle need their time on the, in the, in the, uh, on the screen like everybody else. Yeah, oh, I, I love his war machine. Yeah. It's a super fun character. I drop the tank down. Boom. You looking for this? Ant-Man Quantumania. Any news there? Just says some of the cast was there. Details mentioned the film will directly connect to Avengers, the Kang Dynasty. Yep. Um, Twitter. Footage description for the Quantum Mania begins with Scott Lang having lunch with Jimmy Wu. Okay, I did hear that. Randall Park is coming back. I, lo- I like that character. I mean, just Me even too. in the beginning of WandaVision when he pulls out his business card but yeah. it, as a magic trick, and I'm like, he finally yeah. figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working with. Uh, Donnie, Donnie Flame, or what was his? Oh, from she yeah. Hulk. No, yeah, yeah, Donnie Flame. Donnie so Blaze. Donnie, Donnie Blaze. Blaze, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, magic. <laughs> a machine sending signals to the quantum realm sucks all our heroes in. Ant-Man needs to do a heist for Kang or he won't get Cassie back. Interesting. Sucks all our heroes in? Sucks all our heroes in. All the heroes that are in, in the Ant-Man or... Like, I just, it's pulling I, in heroes from other, you know, like the MCU in general. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a full-blown movie. You can do whatever you want with it, so. You can do some, whatever. Yeah. You know? I mean, there might be Tom Cruise's Iron Man in there. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, February of next year. That's coming soon. Ironheart. Disney yes. Plus series. It's a Disney Plus series. Uh, Anthony Ramos took the stage, explained his character Parker Robbins, aka the Hood, um, described as a new, new mysterious character. Ironheart will get re- uh, released in 2023 and stars Dominique Dorn as Riri Williams. Who but we will be know seen that we're going to be in Black Panther too. Yes, and we're going to be seeing her making the rough draft of the armor, which a lot of people saw the concept art for, and were like, "Oh, that looks so rudimentary." It's kind of like Iron Man's rudimentary from 2009, you know, when he made it in the cave. You know, uh, it's not the Mark 23 armor. <laughs> no. Um, this kind of thing. I don't even think it's going to be that advanced. I think it's going to be more crude than that. This is something that a kid with a, with a blowtorch is cutting out pieces, okay? <laughs> set and photo. Think- this is a set photo, it looks like. This is almost looking like... Uh, Obadiah Stane's version. Kind of, yeah. But I think that she, I think she's making something for whatever's going on in Black Panther. And then when the movie, when the battle is over, Shuri's going to say, well, let's fine tune this sucker a little bit. You know? Because we know that Shuri is smarter than Tony Stark. Because Tony Stark and Bruce Banner combined made Ultron. 
And she said, well, why didn't you just uh, program the, uh, the synapses to work collectively? Because we didn't think of it. And she's like, well, I'm sure you did the best you could. <laughs> she's talking down to Bruce Banner with his nine PhDs that Thor said to throw. <laughs> and Tony Stark. Yeah. So um, Tony smart Stark is a very smart person. No doubt about it. He is not Richards. He is not Shuri. And if I'm not mistaken, Ironheart is a... Uh, Riri Williams is up there as well. I have seen... I, I don't know if it's fan made or not, but it shows Tony Stark, aka Robert Downey Jr., as the AI in yeah. his, you know, in her in her suit, and I am so happy that if they're gonna bring Robert Downey Jr. back, that that is the capacity that they're gonna do it in. I don't want to see him back as Iron Man. I love him as Iron Man. Don't get me wrong, but it would diminish his sacrifice. Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything new we got from Black Panther here. Uh, uh, Wakanda Forever will see the rest of the world attempt to capitalize on Wakanda's resources when they are at their weakest. Yeah, Wakanda at their weakest is still stronger than you. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's just, that's. I think that's that covers most of it, man. So this what a day. Yeah, this D23 is something that was been super hyped up and really expected. We, you know, a lot of things we didn't get, like the cast of the Fantastic Four or some kind of a crazy trailer for X Men or something. But we got things that we were not expecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shush. I love you. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, this has been a great day. I don't know what's going to happen with tomorrow. Uh, tonight we're watching Love and Thunder. I got a couple hours before we're doing that. I'll see how much more of the uh, Cobra Kai I can binge watch before I collapse. Yes, exactly. Wow. This has been a great day. Thanks for, Greg, seriously, to you. Thank you so much for texting me saying, hey, a bunch of stuff dropped. I got it queued up. Would you like to make some videos? <laughs> because now I'm like so pumped I couldn't possibly take a nap now. <laughs> Pump it up. Yes. I'm going to go have a couple of Red Bulls and watch some TV. TV. <laughs> no sleep till Brooklyn, baby. No sleep till Ahsoka. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm still freaking. I'm geeking out, man. I'm geeking out. Ah, uh, This is why I... This right now is the way I feel and the way I hope everybody else feels is why I made this channel. To have fun. Fun, man. So, fun. Thanks again. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click on those notifications. Share it with your friends. <laughs> Till we see you tomorrow morning, probably. Mahalo.